And it's Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video we'll be taking a look at the Streamplify Mount Arm, a relatively inexpensive device which may help your streaming and video creation needs. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so in today's video, we take a look at the Streamplify Mount Arm. Now, I will say straight away, this has been sent to us free of charge for review purposes to check it out and kind of tell you guys what it's all about. So obviously make up your own minds how you feel about it. This is gonna to be to a relatively small niche audience. Those of you that like streaming, want a quality product, and are quite happy to buy something from a slightly lesser known name. Now, a lot of you out there in streamer land are probably gonna be looking at all the usual suspects, such as your Corsairs, your Elgatos, etc., etc. But I think with this, you may actually find yourself saving a bit of money, getting a better quality product, and actually something which has a lot more features. So let's take a closer look and see what it's all about. Okay, so what does the Streamplify mount arm comprise of? Well, surprisingly, it is a arm. A lot of people will call this a boom arm. You can call it a mount arm, boom arm, whatever you want to. And it has some really cool features. So the first one actually is the stability. Now, due to the fact that the mount, which is at the bottom here, will support desks or mounting options or surfaces up to around about 68 millimeters I measured. So yeah, some seriously chunky desks. If you're mounting it to a typical kind of Ikea style desk, these are normally in the region of about 35 mil. Uh, worktops are normally about 35 to 40 mil. So it's gonna give you a little bit more room there. So you wish to maybe reinforce your desk. This is something which a lot of manufacturers don't take into consideration that generally when you are actually clamping down to these, especially these thinner desks, which are basically just cardboard in the middle, you get that compression on there. So actually having it up to 68 mil means you can actually put a little chock of wood either top or bottom just to spread out the load, which is really good. But you don't necessarily need to because there is a very wide pad on there and also there are rubber sections as well to protect any of your surfaces. So if you're a little bit concerned, you don't want to damage your surface when you're clamping it, not that you will do, but there is rubber there to protect it anyway. So before I go on and talk about any more of the components, let's take a quick look at the box and we'll go through some of the specifications for those of you that are wondering and you can basically get a good idea of what it's all about. I'll put some links as well to the website so you can see other potential combinations you can have on this. That is the beauty of this because it works essentially on basically the screw mount system and also the kind of T-track or cold shoe mount, then kind of the options are really open. So if you want to add in a webcam, a ring light, your phone on a phone holder, basically whatever you want to do, you can slot it on there. As long as it doesn't go over two and a half kilos, you're basically absolutely fine. So you can see the design. Now this is something which they have kind of discussed internally. They were discussing whether or not the arm should be black, whether it should be chrome, whether it should be white. Now a lot of the time now, a lot of uh, streamers and people who basically make content tend to have a lot of white peripherals. And also the fact that things like desks generally tend to be white, especially the kind of Ikea stuff. So actually having something which is white kind of blends into the background a little bit more rather than having just black bars on the screen. Again, it's kind of an aesthetics thing. Obviously, it is ABS plastic on the outer side, so if you do want to get creative with it, you can scuff it up a little bit and use some paints on there. You certainly can do that. The internal structure of it is all solid metal, so you've got no worries there, but the exterior section is plastic, so acrylic-based paints are going to be absolutely fine, or just go ahead and stick some stickers on it, or keep it completely out of shot. The choice is entirely yours. Uh, so designed in Germany, so as with all the Streamplify stuff, it is all coming out of uh, Pro Gamers Wear GBH or GMBH, whichever it is. Uh, we've got 360 degree swivel, so actually on the desk clamp, which uh, actually we can take a closer look at now. So the desk clamp, you've got a traditional kind of clamp action there, like a G clamp, uh, rubberized section there, rubberized section there. Your actual mount arm goes into there. When it's in securely, tighten it up. If you don't want it to swivel, tighten it right up. If you want to be able to swivel the mic around, so if you can move it out of shot, or if you're streaming and you, maybe you're moving around, then you can actually just loosen off slightly and it'll give you that 360 degrees of uh, rotation on there. Also, very solid metal, all that kind of good stuff anyway. So that is that bit in more detail. On the back there again, I'll give you some options there. So you can take a look at that. Let's look at the dimensions, etc. I think it's looking round about where we, yeah, maximum reach is 75 centimeters. So depending on where the actual mount is, you've got about 75 centimeters to actually get it towards you. So if you're mounting at the edge of a desk, 75 centimeters in is where you can place basically the last part. So essentially the microphone in most people's cases, possibly a recording device, webcam, whatever, 
Again, it's down to the individual. So that's the parts there. I haven't mentioned the price yet, actually. This is relatively affordable considering what you get. Now this, at the moment, is retailing on the overclockers.co.uk website for $44.95. I believe that's with free shipping as well. So that is actually pretty decent, considering what you actually get in here and what you'd pay for individual parts. Now, if you go for one of those cheap and cheerful mic arms, which have the springs on there, and every time you touch it, you can hear the twang or doing in the background, that kind of thing, but thin, cheap metal, you're looking at somewhere about 10 to 15 pounds for those on its own. And they're not great. They get the job done, but they're not great. And they don't have the capacity for two and a half kilos. That's for darn sure. But if you take into account all that and all the accessories, the value in this is really easy to see. So this, if you're buying like an Elgato version of this, or maybe uh, one of those kind of road type things, you're looking at 50 to 100 pounds just for the arm itself. So that is where the kind of the value comes in of this. You get all the accessories with it included, of which we'll take a quick look at. So one of the first accessories is the universal mic clamp. And this is actually pretty cool. So depending on what sort of microphone you're using, maybe you're not using one with a quarter or five eighths or three quarters thread on there. There's adapters included as well. So you can use this twist it onto the end, which uh, actually I'll show you while I'm doing it. So that just screws onto the end, do that up all the way. And then essentially you can use this as a clamp. So as you saw earlier in the shot, what we do is open up the jewel, grab your microphone, stick it in there and it'll clamp onto it. Even particularly heavy microphones like the Streamplify mic, that works in there no problems at all. Again, if you don't want to use the clamp, you can just unscrew the clamp and screw your mic straight onto there, onto the uh, quarter, 5 eighths or 3 eighths jack, all of which there are adapters included. So that is a very good start. You don't have to use it for a mic, you can use it for anything you want. Uh, you can clamp on the corner of a phone or anything you can think of. Essentially, it's a very high strength clamp and it's going to work well and it's got foam on the insert as well, so it's not going to scratch up your nice mic if you've got one. Moving on from that accessory, so we do have also included a ball head mount. So this is an adjustable ball head with a quarter inch thread on the top. On the bottom, you've got your traditional cold shoe style. So this is where this whole system works. So because it uses the cold shoe fit in, you basically got a slot along here and along here. So you can mount things in kind of wherever you want to. So say for instance, on this side, so this is gonna be our kind of section which is gonna be attached to the desk. So this is the kind of the action side, so to speak. So you can basically slot in as many things as you want here, depending on what you've got. So if you just, put in the included ball head mount. So you can tighten that up, leave that on there. Then you can attach that, maybe your DSR camera, your point and shoot, webcam, again, whatever you want, lighting system, ring light, all those types of things. So you get that set up, put it into place, and then you've got more accessories. So the other accessories you've got are these plastic mounts here. So these are basically cable management sections. So you've got four of those included. So you could put one in the front here, put one in the back, put one here. So you've got these rubber sections here, all nice silicon as well, and a stopper on the end, just to make things a little bit neater on the end there. And you also get included one of these. So this is for mounting uh, mobile phones, that sort of thing. So you've got a nice jewel on there, jewel up to, I think it's 100 mil, which is all on a nice screw as well. None of that weird elasticated nonsense. And you can actually have it in portrait or landscape, depending on what suits you. There's also a cold shoe mount on the bottom there. Sorry, a quarter inch thread mount on the bottom there. And there's another quarter there. So depending what you want to do, whether you want to mount it straight onto there, onto the ball head and control your camera like that, or whether you want to screw that into an additional uh, cold shoe. Again, the choice is pretty much up to you. So I'm going to screw that onto there just so we can see how this can thing can start getting assembled. So there you go, and you can have your camera in there. So that's fine, so we can tighten that section up and tighten that one up as well. Loosen that off and then we can obviously put your phone in there so it's pointing towards you, kind of makes sense. If you're concerned about cables dangling as well and you want your nice clean shots, so you can put another one of those cable management channels in, another little stopper on the end, which for most people is probably gonna be absolutely fine. So you can have your setup here looking towards you, microphone here or maybe down and have it angled up. Again, it's kind of up to you really, you can do this however you want to. If you want to do cable management on the back side as well, very easy to do again. So just get your cold shoe mount sliders in there, put them in, put two in. If you want to tidy up as well, you can go ahead and put your stoppers in just to make it all look nice and neat. And yeah, pretty good. Now you're probably thinking, but how do you get the adjustment? 
Yes, it's essentially on friction. So in each one of these joints, there is a Allen key. They do include, handily, a Allen key wrench as well. So if it's going to be static and you want it to be in a fixed position, but you want it to be super strong, then just tighten this up as far as it will go. If you want it a little bit looser, you can go ahead, loosen that off, and then you've got adjustment and there's like differential stops in there. So various different click points. So you can set it to basically wherever you want. So that's the tightest angle, or you can have it essentially like that as long as you want. Move this bit down. Let's loosen that one off. So then that comes down. So you could have it like stretching out really far should you need to. So yeah, that's a, a pretty good distance to be traveling. Again, if I mounted this on the other side of our desk, then it's gonna kind of end up being here, which is actually almost perfect for what we do here. But I think realistically, I would probably bend it up and have it angled more towards that just to take up some of the impacts off the desks, etc. That is the one downside of this, which I will have to point out, is the fact that depending what you're mounting this to, there isn't really any shock adaption here, or the microphone itself will be fine because most mics come with shock mounts and because there's foam in there, then that is gonna take up some of it. But I feel for the camera, if you haven't got your uh, electronic or image stabilization put on, potentially, because this is gonna be directly mounted to the desk you're on, possibly, then every kind of movement is gonna translate through it. So that is something which um, is gonna, it's a hard thing to work on in terms of an engineering thing. It's a really difficult thing to do without putting kind of gas dampeners in here or springs like you get on those cheaper models. So they do tend to be a little bit better for the actual motion of the camera, but absolutely awful for sound quality because those springs just twang and obviously it's gonna pick it up straight away. So at least with this, you've got a fighting chance of getting what you need done. And if you don't wanna spend an absolute fortune like a lot of professional content creators do, like up to thousands of pounds, on these kinds of things with shock mounts and gas struts and all that kind of stuff, which realistically for a lot of people is kind of out of reach, at least when you're starting off your career anyway. I think this is actually a really good option and because it has so many things that you can potentially do with it, so you can set up a microphone for interviews, that sort of stuff, or you can have it directly to you if you're a streamer, have it close up so you can read maybe your uh, super chats or your Twitch feed, that sort of stuff on there, then yeah, potentially you can do that as well. And it's going to be uh, very, very cool indeed. And also, I think it looks really nice. And being this rock solid metal, then yeah, you can't go too far on it. It should take a good beat in. So anyway, there has been a look at the mount arm from Streamplify. Again, I'll put links in the video description so you can check it out for yourself and local pricing, etc. But yeah, as far as I'm concerned, another winner from Streamplify and at a fantastic price as well. So you can't really knock it. Again, if you want to check it out, links in the video description. If you just want to see my smiling face every day in your subscription feed, then hit subscribe and the channel notification and you'll see the future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.